Welcome to newest helpful watercolor tips and tricks lesson 12. I have my coloring sketchbook in front of me and today we're gonna mix a lot of greens. I already did this kind of exercise and I was using Elegion Crimson, Prussian Blue and Transparent Yellow. This time I will be using different pigments. Looking for a perfect spot in my sketchbook, found it. I want to make this exercise a little bit different, not on a color wheel, not like a chart, but something more interesting, more creative. I always encourage my students to make watercolor mixes when they feel maybe not so into painting something, flowers or anything else, or they are, they had quite a big break after between paintings, or like now a new year has just begun and we can start with something lighter, something more easier. And I decided to create this tree on which will be huge leaves for green watercolor mixes. And those three big roots are representing three pigments that I will be using. Try to be creative. It will get more of your attention and you will feel greater inspiration to do those watercolor mixes because those watercolor mixes are really helpful in understanding colors, in experimenting with the pigments you already have. You don't need to run to store and buy pigments that some new tutor is showing in tutorial. If you have the same, great. If you don't, don't worry. Try with pigments that you have. For this tutorial, I will be using three pigments as I mentioned. One is lemon yellow, painting it on the first root of this old big tree that I just drew. Using round synthetic brush, simple brush, you can use an old brush. The second pigment is alzarin crimson. You can use cadmium yellow, cadmium red, maybe some other Windsor red maybe, or any other red pigment. You need to experiment in order to understand colors, how they interact with each other, colors and pigments that you already have. And the third one is ultramarine blue. For this you can also take almost any blue that you have in your color palette. As I previously showed, I was making quite similar exercise and I have a, a tutorial here on YouTube. I was using Prussian blue, also had uh, the same experiment with indigo and they all are working amazing in order to mix greens. So starting with the first one, taking lemon yellow and a little touch of ultramarine blue and we have a very basic bright blue. Let's add a little touch of ultramarine blue and we have a very cold green mix. Almost blue, but not quite. So I have here 40 leaves and I will try to fill them with all the different colors of green mixes that I can get from these three pigments. Here I added alizarin crimson to my mix of lemon yellow and ultramarine blue. And you need to be very careful with adding red pigment to your green mix because it can very fast turn into brown. Red pigment is giving an extra earthy look to your green mix, but if added too much you can get violet, you can get brown. And as you can see, I'm trying now to get out of this brown, but as you can see, the more you start to mix, the more browner and more dirtier this color can get. I'm also showing on this tree the browner tones, so you know that mixing too much of red pigment, your green will be more brownish. And as you feel, you can't get the right tone anymore, better to remove the color 
completely, your watercolor mix completely and then start again. I'm speeding up the video so you get the idea how I do that. I'm just experimenting, I'm doing this in front of you for the first time and if the color isn't working out, I'm just wiping out. And I'm using a very small amount of pigment because I'm painting with professional watercolor mixes, my top selection of pigments and I really need a little amount to get a very saturated mix. And with each new mix I add a little bit of red or a little bit of more yellow to it and go for it. Also different greens we can get the more saturated it is or more diluted with water. Now trying first with alizarin crimson and adding blue and then yellow and I still getting quite brown color. I am adding that to my tree, trying again and again brown. So better to start with the yellow or with the blue and then add other colors. But as I said, you need to experiment, try your watercolors, try your pigments. As you can see, I already have quite a big variety of green mixes using only three pigments. And to get something light, you don't need white pigment, you just need to add a little bit more water and your mix will get lighter. Also, my recommendation when you are practicing watercolor mixes, take the brush that is already old or maybe simple synthetic brush and you can mix freely without worrying that you're gonna ruin your perfect, nice, with a finer tip brush. I never do watercolor mixes with my finest brushes. I always use some older synthetic round brush. But these exercises are a must if you want to understand watercolor mixes, how to get them, and the more you're gonna do them, the more you will start to see those different color tones. Because I receive so many questions from beginner artists, uh, how I see those different color tones in that subject, in that reference, how can I notice all those little color changes and the answer is the more you practice watercolor mixes the more you will start to understand watercolor mixes and to see those color tones the more the greater variety you see of those color tones the more you're going to notice them in real life in your subjects filling up last leaves for this big tree and i can see that maybe only few leaves are very very similar but most of them are completely different as we finished mixing now we can enhance this tree this watercolor mixing tree i'm using a marker a very thin marker and i'm gonna outline my tree edges and maybe also leaves you can get creative and draw a completely different tree or you can also get the line drawing for this tree if you send me an email to art at christinart.com and I will send you the reference for this tree. Speeding up and as you can see I'm also outlining some leaves and adding some shadows. You can really get creative and illustrative so the pigments were used, lemon yellow, ultramarine blue, and alizarin crimson. You can try pigments that you have. Adding transparent paper, outlining my tree for you guys to have an opportunity also to get this reference. This is a very wonderful way to transfer any sketch. For example, you illustrated something or got an idea in your sketchbook 
and with transparent paper you can always transfer it and get it more neater. I'm leaving in this transparent outline drawing. I like my sketchbooks to be more creative, more interesting and to see the process of my way of creating something. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Would like to hear your comments, like and share, thank you and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!